This is End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon, founder and chief analyst at End Screen Media, and today is February 4th, 2021. Well, you probably realize the connected TV is hands down the most important screen to have great coverage on if you are a streaming service provider or a streaming platform provider. But if you look at the penetration numbers of those devices, you aren't getting the real picture. I'm gonna uncover the platforms that matter today, uh, but first, a couple of definitions. When I talk about a smart TV, I mean a television with the streaming functionality built in. And when I say it's connected, I mean that people have gone to the trouble of hooking it up to their Wi-Fi or to their home router. So then it becomes a connected smart TV. Connected TV devices are things like Roku and Fire TV sticks and boxes, Apple TV, Chromecast, Nvidia Shield, TiVo 4K Stream. There's a whole bunch of them out there to select from. Uh, now, Nielsen calls these internet connected devices, but I'm going to call them connected TV devices. So that's what I mean when I'm talking about that. And by the way, I may abbreviate connected TV, which is both of them together, to CTV. Okay, what device type do people have in their homes? What are they actually got in their homes and, and uh, hopefully you're using? Well, like when research says that most people have a connected smart TV. Now, as you can see from the graphic that I just put up, in 2015, most people were using a connected TV device, a CTV device. Uh, and that changed last year because 58% said that they were using a connected smart TV and 56% said they were using a connected TV device in Leichmann's uh, annual poll. How did that happen? How did they switch positions? Well, this is just a numbers game. About 38 million televisions are sold in the US every year. And over between 2015 and 20 and 2020, well, just there's been a lot of TVs sold and increasing numbers of those are smart. And virtually all TVs these you buy today are smart. So it's just accumulated over time. And as people started to stream more, well, they're much more likely to connect them. So that's how we, I think, smart TV overtook connected TV devices. Now, what smart TVs are most people using? TiVo in its Q4 video, tw video trends report says it's dead heat between Samsung and Android TV. It said 20% of smart TV owners say they're using a Samsung Tizen based system and 20% say they're using an Android TV based system. Uh, Roku TV, which powers TVs from TCL, Hisense and several other brands, they came in third with 19% and LG with its WebOS, uh, that's back at about 9% of homes that are using a smart TV. Uh, what about connected TV devices? Who are the big winners there? Well, TiVo says that Fire TV and Roku sticks and boxes lead the way with about 30% for Fire TV and 28% for Roku. But the truth is Roku really leads the streaming wars here because of course they power so many of the smart TVs as well. Now, what device do people use? By, by the time spent watching, it's not even close. According to Conviva, it says in North America in Q4 2020, 57% of streaming time went to connected TV devices, not to smart TVs. Smart TVs are way back with just 16% of that time. So who is powering the devices that consume the most? Roku, according to Conviva, is is consuming 31% of streaming time, 19% to Amazon, and 11% to Samsung TVs. Now, this certainly seems to align with what Roku is telling us. Roku says that the average active user of Roku is spending 228 minutes per day viewing. That's almost four hours. So there you have it paying attention, just the penetration numbers does not give you the big picture. Most people are using smart TVs to stream and Samsung and Android TV and Roku are the most important players there. 
but the longest viewing time is through connected TV devices and Roku leads with Amazon Fire TV and Samsung second and third. Now, if you'd like to study the graphs that I popped up during this video in more detail, just come to the Endscreen Media website and look for the latest Endscreen Noise posting. And while you're there, why don't you sign up for our free newsletter? You can get weekly or daily, uh, and you'll get all that news right there in your mailbox. This has been Colin Dixon with Endscreen Media. I'll see you again next time.